What's going on guys, Jake here from The Fly Fiend. Thanks for tuning back in to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up a Biot Holy Grail merger. Fun little fly to swing, nymph, or even fish in still water. I'm going to throw a fresh hook in the vise and we're going to get right in this tutorial. My preferred hook I like to tie this fly on is a Firehole Outdoor Styx. This is their model 633 in a size 12. I have that paired up with a 532nd brass gold bead. And the thread we're going to be using is UTC 70 denier in olive. Now I'm going to start my thread on the shank. And I'm not going to start right behind my bead because I want to leave some room about a full bead length behind the back of the bead um, for when I tie in my soft tackle at the front. I don't want to have this uh, hook eye crowded, so I just uh, give myself a generous amount of room behind that just so I don't crowd it. I'm going to dress that hook and uh, stop my thread where the hook bar would be. And we're going to be tying in our tail. And for our tail, we're going to be using a single hen saddle feather from a shore fishing hen saddle. This is in speckled brown. And I'm going to get about four fibers. Don't need more than that for a tail. I'm going to put that right on top. Just like so. What I'm actually going to do is just pull the stem to my desired length and ideally I like my tail about the hook gap from the top from the bottom to the point here that's how long I usually like my tail sections now I'm just gonna wrap that up to where that stem ends and you can literally just pull the stem out. You have a nice clean break off point. Just like that. So for the body, we're going to be using a turkey biot. This is a hairline turkey biot quill in the color brown. And I'm just going to prep this for tie-in. And I'm going to tie that on the side of the hook facing towards me. So I'm going to bring that biot right down to the base then bring my thread back up. Then we're going to be tying in our rib. And for a rib we're going to be using some uni soft wire in small in the color gold. So I'm just going to get a nice little 4 inch piece here or so. Then I'm going to attach that onto the side of the shank facing towards the camera. So I'm going to make sure that's nice and secured. I'm going to bring my thread back up. Keeping everything nice and smooth there. So I have the biot coming out the one side then the my ribbing wire coming out the other side. So I'm going to grab my hackle pliers attach that to that biot then I'm just going to start making some wraps up this creating the body. So once I get to that point there, I can just tie that off. Come in with my scissors. Cut up that little tag end. I can grab my wire, come underneath the biot, and make open spiral wraps following that ridge 
laying your wire in the flat section between the two ridges there. So once that's brought up, you can helicopter that out. Just like so. Make a couple back wraps over that, just make sure everything's nice and secured down. Now for the wing case, we're gonna be using some uh, ring net pheasant tail. Um, this is uh, dyed brown. And I'm gonna grab about half a dozen fibers off the stem. And I'm gonna cut the tips off. And I'm gonna tie that in right in front of that biot. You wanna make sure that you have enough room still to uh, pull this back. Since you are gonna be pulling this over the bead, just good to uh, measure how far that's gonna come back. Just so you have enough room for your uh, thorax and everything. So next we're going to be tying in our thorax and for that I'm just going to be using some Wapsie Rabbit and this is um, in natural hair color. Super spiky dubbing. If you have a problem dubbing this you can put a little bit of dubbing wax on your thread for it to stick a little bit better. And I'm just going to build up a pretty, pretty decent thorax here. Put a little bit more there. You just want to make sure that you still have that room there behind that bead. You can push it up pretty tight like that. So that looks pretty good. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna whip finish right in front of my thorax there. That I can cut out my thread, push back that bead a bit. And I'm just gonna start my thread right in front of that now. I like to throw down a couple extra wraps just to kind of build a little bump there for that bead to sit on. Sometimes it doesn't want to. I can pull this wing case over. Make sure it's nice and straight on top. Just like that. Get some nice, nice tight thread wraps there. I can come underneath cut out the butt section and just clean that up. So right now we're gonna add a little bit of thin UV curing resin. So I'm just gonna get some Golf Thin Man. I'm just gonna add a nice coat on top of that pheasant tail wing case. I'm just gonna grab a little block in here and spread this out covering all those fibers. By adding this UV curing resin not only does it add a lot of durability to the fly it also magnifies this wing case, which I think looks really cool. So I'm just gonna cure that. Give that a nice deep cure there. Now to finish off this fly, we're gonna be putting another 
shore fishing hen saddle feather in speckled brown. And I'm just going to strip one. What I like to do with this is I actually like to strip the one, the left side, all the way. I like to strip all the feather or all the uh, fibers right off the stem. This is going to make it a little bit easier to tie in here. So I am going to be wrapping it in like a a soft hackle. So as you can see, I stripped all the feathers, all the fibers off the um, left side of the stem. So I'm just going to cut a little notch there to tie it in. Make sure that's nice and secured in there. And I can grab this feather now. Just make some wraps. Preferably I like um, almost like two full wraps. And since you're um, stripping off some of the uh, side, it's going to be nice and sparse. And it's going to uh, flow really nice in the water. So once I got my two wraps there, Actually, just going to come in with my scissors and cut out the stem, just like so. And while I'm doing that, I'm keeping pressure on my thread. Since this is a down eye, it um, sometimes wants to slip, slip off the uh, your hook. So I just keep that pressure on it. So I'm just going to. Use Make a nice four or five turn whip finish. Make sure it's nice and tight. I can cut out my thread. Then I can add a little bit more resin here. Just over those thread wraps. Adds a nice little neat head. And it uh, that adds lots of durability to that. So once that's cured, you're good to go. Cool little fly. To, I swing this fly. Um, you can also nymph it for um, um, like steelhead and stuff like that. Takes a little bit to kind of get down the hole, um, measuring where your beads are gonna go. But um, just keep at it if you are having troubles with it and uh, it gets better with time. So a big taste tutorial guys, if you did, give it a thumbs up, really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. If you have any questions about any of the materials, you can drop that down in the comment section below. You can buy all these materials now on my website at theflyfiend.com. Thanks a lot again for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next tutorial.